firework playing over this song might have broken my brain. Like, legit. <laughs> might have broken my brain. Thank you, Alaska. Oh my god. That was that was noise chaos. What's up, J-Ray? Am I gonna make daddy? I don't know what dad I don't even know I got I had to make a daddy. I don't know I don't know. I haven't played this before. Many more months to come. <laughs> Thank you, Kidewa. Thank you so much. Oh god. <laughs> All the chaos. All the chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? You never finished this game happy? You never got with a daddy? Come on. Come on. Okay. It's the dad... Dad director cut. What? Dad director? I don't know. New game. Exercise regularly and you'll stay healthy. That's right. Oh, am I gonna I'm gonna have to move my cam, aren't I? I am. Hold on. Eh. 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 I have none of the care that I'm just a floating mass. Amanda! Dad! I'm assuming Amanda is my daughter. Dad, wake up! Pretend to be dead. I'm gonna pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad, this hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. <laughs> Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. <laughs> okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. <sighs> oh, are we moving? <laughs> Goose Daddy. <laughs> I've <laughs> Herdy Derp! Honk! You missed the honk! You missed the honk, Herdy Derp! Peachy Blush Honk. Ah, thank you so much, Herdy Derp, for the 42 months, my cosmic peach! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> hey, evil twin link! <laughs> this was Rebel's Choice. This is our mod appreciation day. The mods chose my games today, and uh, this was. You guys can thank. Rebel with the royal heart for this happening right now. Or maybe I'm just in time for hogs. Well, I mean, we haven't even met them yet, so not too fast. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Ah, uh, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Please don't pirate games. <laughs> I'm- I'm loving the dad tips. That dad. Yeah! Okay, what- who do we make? I have no idea. Let's just put some hair on me. I got a creepy face too. Oh god. This is really- Oh my god, there's so many options- I need some guidance here. I need some guidance. This is- this is too ma- this is too much. I'll be here for- for three years. Oh my god, there's legit like DBZ hair. I need some guidance. You made Sora, of course. <laughs> I'm not sure if Bog would let us pick this for him. I mean, all games are subject to approval. Oh god, no, I will not make Mr. P as a dream daddy. Yeah, the face is bad. Everything is bad. <laughs> I'm 
I could be here forever. I need some guidance. Make rebel. Rebel. This 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 is your this is your thing. This was your choice. What do we, what am I making? It's too- there's- there's too much. I need some guidance. There's the super animu eyes! <gasps> Help me! Animu eyes! What am I making? Animu, but serious. Gotta be Animu. Do we have to be super Animu? Okay. <laughs> we make the the most Animu we can. I like how you can choose like chest hair or like do you want hair up top or do you want like less hair? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, head shit. This is a most animu. Let's, where's our most animu hair? That's not the DBZ hair. Uh, this is pretty animu hair. It's all animu. All of it. Okay, anime eyes, which is terrifying. Do we, have, do we want purple hair? I just, we can have pink hair. We could have- there's- there's too many options. I don't know who I want to make. I have no idea. Oh my god. That's ter- this is terrifying. We didn't pick the eye color. Oh my god. I need help. <laughs> I need help! Pink hair! Pink hair! Okay, his pink hair. Um... I'm just gonna make it as animu as possible. He's not mean. It looks, why does it look mean? Don't look mean. It look mean. That <laughs> shirt though. It's all really special. It's all <laughs> really special. Glasses or no glasses? <laughs> it's a face only a daughter could love. No glasses? Piercings? I don't have an earring. Clothing! Oh my god. Rebel, what clothing do you want? Oh my god. What are these outfits? <laughs> the blue shirt? What, this one? The egg one? <laughs> you want the egg shirt, Rebel? All right, looking good, Daddy. Name that dad. Oh, should I name him Rebel? <laughs> Hi, Luna. Hey, Cespes. Oh my God, Rebel's a hot dad. Here. Rebel Royal Heart. You are our fashion icon. Be that dad. Be that dad. <laughs> what you do when you don't have to will determine where you'll be when you can't help it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Did you fall asleep packing? 
Hold on. Ah! Oh my god. <gasps> she takes after her mom. <laughs> Congratulations, Rebel, you're dead. <laughs> oh, that was your original Twitch name, Rebel Royal Heart. Perfect. <laughs> The resemblance is uncanny. <gasps> oh my god. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo hey. albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh! That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. Oh. Well, look at me. She's obviously adopted. <laughs> the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. And then the tongue came out. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Ah, so cute! <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume! You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both! A princess dragon! Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear! Oh no! <sighs> I am everyone's dad. Right, yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Dad. Oh my gosh. Woo! The allergies. <clears throat> <laughs> Yes. I had I had a I never had a horse face, I had a unicorn face. Where I loved everything unicorns. Which is kind of a horse face. <laughs> Horses are forever, it's not a phase. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Hmm. I don't think that was his Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Me. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. The ska Communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Dad. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Duh. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two Ugh. up. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Definitely pooped her pants Ugh. during a sleepover. Dad, that was me. I did that. <laughs> oh. Oh. <clears throat> and I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. Yeah. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R. Later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Aw. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. Yes. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tor- Tor- t t t t t I don't know how to say that word. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive past McFriday's without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last mm. photo. Oh! Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh, Bubby. Bubby. Oh. Hey, Fluis. 
Hi, Ion Dragon. Yeah, thank you for being here. <clears throat> Pricey chances, I love this game. This is my first time playing it. <clears throat> I finally decide to break the silence. This is what the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man, he holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him, and he says, it's okay, it's all gonna be okay. <sighs> he was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. She pats me on ah. the back. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Oh, really, Kai? Wow. <clears throat> Hi, Moni Kitten! <laughs> so many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> you were a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? <laughs> we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Multiple. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal! I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yes. I think it's great. We won't be closer... Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And, I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point. Mm. Not gonna happen, Pops. Hey, what's up, Electric? <clears throat> Hi, Sakura! Ignis is still my daddy. <laughs> What's great is she has a little, like, egg pin on her jacket, too. Um, probably depends on which test you take. Um, I, I learned how to parallel park during, like, my, like... I forget, I don't know if it was the driver test or if it was, like, my parents, like, taught me how to parallel park. Um, I don't think it was on the test. You just have to, like, go for- I had to go forward and backwards through cones, but I don't think I had to parallel park for the actual test. Hey, Sailor Sylvian! Eternal Scout! Hi, Edot! I just realized I never responded to your DM, Edot. Oops, that was my bad. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Huh. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh? I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Huh. Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. 
citizen. I'm just gonna ignore that, but I won't forget it. So what's item number one on new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area. Aw, that's a cute house. Puppies. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown. And the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> and with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. Oh my god, puppies. They're like intermittently barking. <clears throat> I'm so proud. Eh? Oh my god. I hate the- I'm sorry. Damn it, PG! I am muted. Sorry. 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 You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog-to-person ratio is very high. I only want what's the best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot already. <laughs> hey, it's a dog! <laughs> oh, no. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Whistle while you work. I can't whistle though. Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. Ah. Ha! We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! Aw, oh, man. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Oof. Ah! A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. <laughs> I like your necktie. Woof! He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. <laughs> Pet the dog! <laughs> But where do I pet the dog? 
dare we try the butt pets? We're gonna give him the head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. <laughs> you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth. <laughs> I'll catch you with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard in this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> he did not just burst into eggplant emotes. Did he? Oh, man. It begins. Brian wants to see if the curtains match the drapes. Wait, no, the, the carpet's not the- I've, I've ruined it. I ruined it. I have bright pink hair. Who wouldn't wonder? <clears throat> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Rebel, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. <laughs> ah. Hi! Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Kar Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high, high schooler. How old is she? Ted. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. <laughs> oh no, it's happening! Yes! Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Yes! Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. Must, must brag about children. <clears throat> Alright. What's... Daughter? Alright, brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. <laughs> uh, no! Can't switch daughters. Amanda is your only daughter. <laughs> oh, jeez. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's latest grade card out of your back pocket. <laughs> your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. Oh, you really carry that around everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Alright, we're a little ahead. Keep bragging. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy sold enough Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get to the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's 
extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Uh-oh. Do we have another item? Uh... Spelling bee photo? Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy's getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oh, no. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Flee. Nah, keep bragging. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Oh, no. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. I'm dead. Damn, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Uh, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. No! You sand attack. Oh, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh -huh. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. Ah. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? I do have the fabulous pink anime hair, though. What a lovely place. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. And they have a dog. A very solid dad attempt. Yes. <laughs> Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up mm. us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Yeah. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave and Epic in Seven Parts by Amanda Royal Hart. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more enjoying the day we have to go to the coffee shop I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here maybe we could check that out let's do it keep your word oh my goodness it does sound like an awesome story I bet it was great Hey, what's up, Black Sheep? Trying to get Doc to- I would die to see Doc playing this. Oh my god. <laughs> Good to see you, Black Sheep. Oh my gosh. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is in such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just bring, drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? He thinks way too much about the coffee Ugh. shop etiquette. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. There's also the, you know, social anxiety thing. We walk inside. Huh. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey. Uh, this place has even got a stage. My goodness. It's fancy. Matt. Matt with one T. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that's what we call anxiety. Yes, yes, friends. He just described social anxiety. <laughs> I literally can't handle your dad's shirt. That's, uh, that's thanks to Rebel. Yes, yeah. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. Gets mentioned in, in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop! Oh. That's me every day. Hmm. <laughs> so what'll it be? Hmm. I scan the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed you, black coffee. A classic. He likes my coffee choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you, black emperor, is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... I'm doing the thing again. But coming right up. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. What is biggie small? Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to, anyway. Hey. Hey! Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right in. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Hey! 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 <laughs> I feel a day. That's why God invented the internet. <clears throat> See, we're making progress. friends we have here and we didn't even go outside that's right oh my god with the puppies come on guys
Sorry about that, guys. All three of the pups had to go outside and potty, so... <laughs> Mr. P's sleeping. Hey! What's up, Naka? Hi, Uranine. What's up, guys? Ugh. There's no such thing as too much spaghetti. Yeah. No, there is. There is. I'm cold. It's cold today. It's cold today. How much spaghetti? That's that's different for everybody. Hey, Sammy. I have a Sailor Moon blanket on my lap. <clears throat> Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Yeah. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Rebel. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Sweet! Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be... I would... That would be commensurate with, uh... I taught her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> I was just gonna give you guys free Banana Bread anyway. <laughs> right! Yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. <gasps> this is amazing! Hey. Oh, have fun, Alaska! Congrats to her! Thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be- I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Uh... <sighs> oh no, he didn't like it! Oh no! Like the jam rock band fronted by Jerry Garcia? Huh? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Grateful banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I don't hey. think he liked it though. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee! Thanks, baby. Hey. See? It sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? Looked evil. We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Oh my god. Who is that creepy guy looking at me? We just had coffee! Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father's a rebel, sweetie! <laughs> there was! There was a creepy daddy checking me out. <laughs> there was a creepy guy. <laughs> now all aboard the train to Sleepy Town Junction! Try to drive it. Yep. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming up behind us. Rebel, bro! Hey. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro! Oh. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. 
The baby looks terrified. <laughs> It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey. Uh, yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Oh! <laughs> oh, roommate. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Huh. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Aw, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I, I mean Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. Uh, she actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh, it's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. You guys got twins, too? It's, it's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Mm -hmm. Ain't life something, bro? Right? Look at the river blowing bubbles. <laughs> and then they're standing in the middle of the road and the baby's like, oh, there's cars coming. <laughs> 100% that baby is pooping. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> Keg stand Craig is a father of three. Mm. Keg stand Craig? Oh, huh. Yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Oh. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Hmm. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promise myself I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Hmm. Who wants to jog? Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha, huh, I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'll be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. Hmm. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. He invited us to jog. Jogging means going outside. That's right. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Mm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be re responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. <laughs> Amanda... He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's so gross. Ugh. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Huh. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Oh my god, puppies, please! Hmm. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Oh. No, don't say that. I think there's people outside, like the neighbors are like doing construction and they're barking at them. Aw, mm -hmm. oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. 
I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. A dog? Yeah. Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Hell yeah, girl! <laughs> really, Hannah? Oh my god. That's freaking great. Hi, Chaos! Oh my god. I'm losing my eyeball. A dog is a lot cheaper than college. Got that right. I got something in my eyeball. <laughs> Amanda oh. laughs. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yeah. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm -hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Uh. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Uh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Oh, surprise! We just moved in! Actually, we got stuff set up for, like, having just moved in. So... You need me out of the way because I am painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Oh. Yeah? What are, you pl what are your plans? Quick, think of plans! Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Mm -hmm. He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Hi, Sparkle Prides! <laughs> just moved in and she already wants him out. She just invited her friends over to sleep over. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. Well, try and keep it- we'll try and keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. I hate that I can't not see double spaces accidentally between two words. Like, it plagues me. I just- I see it, and I can't not see it. Oh, right. Mr. Vega. Yep. Totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome! Night Pops! I put on my pajamas and make myself a nice mug of mint tea to get ready for bed. I can hear Amanda and her friends laughing from her room. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda had has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. That they're, they're both Emma. Do you snuggly? Oh man, I'm like plagued with it. 
Just as I'm heading towards my room, the doorbell rings. Pay your bills early. Who could possibly need anything from me right now? Do they know what time it is? I have pajamas on. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Oh, cookies! Hello? Hi. I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies, and I just can't have these in the house or I'll eat them all. Whoa. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi. I'm Rebel. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some. My daughter Christy wants me to let you know she baked them herself. Aww, that's cute. He brought us cookies. This one brings us food. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come... And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Mm. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just... Tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? <gasps> Amanda took my cookies. She took my cookies. Hey, Goth Guardian. Oh, uh, I meant, don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Uh. Oh, mm. uh, mm. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, no, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I, I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of ch children to have. <laughs> I gotta say, you really nailed Rebel's looks. <laughs> no, she didn't. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll let you get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Wink? 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 You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. That was an audible wink. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumble, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Aww. They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? The Emma's helped. Right. Well, kiddo, I'm gonna go catch some Z's. Hurry, the Z's are getting away! <laughs> oh, lord. <laughs> I run down the hall towards my bedroom. 
I'm hot on the trail. I'll get 12 hours of quality sleep if it's the last thing I do. 12 hours? I would be wrecked after 12 hours. As I shut the door behind me, Amanda's laugh echoes through the hallway. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early birds. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Smiley face emoji. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Whoops! Must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Go to the gym. Hey, my man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. <laughs> oh god. I've got that. It's like someone suddenly, like, y you suddenly realize, like, oh, I'm gonna need these type of clothes for this activity I never do. And then you're like, only half appropriate clothing for the activity. <laughs> like, I haven't owned a proper... I have not owned proper swimwear in probably 15 years. <laughs> I just don't go swimming. I used to have like a mismatch like top and bottom. <laughs> I was just like, this works, I guess. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out in front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastically. Oh. Hey bro, good morning. This time sans baby. <laughs> oh my god. 6 a.m. is the middle of the night, in my opinion. <laughs> we gotta get our swole on with Craig. I actually do, like, if I had to go to the gym and work out, I actually do have, like, workout wear, but that's only because it's, it's comfy, supportive wear. Because I need... Like, comfy supportive wear. But it's not for working out, it's just for... It's basically supportive pajamas. <laughs> really, Jay, right? Yeah, especially when you live, like, right next to something and you just, like, you never go. Even though it's, like, within walking distance. Yeah. Any, anything is swimwear if you don't care enough. <laughs> hey, bro, good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I am definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Oh. You re oh. <laughs> you ready to kip some butt? He, 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 he moaned at me. Gotta stay posse, dude? With your help, I am, or help! Let's scream for help. This is it. This is how I die. Oh, oh he was not impressed with my unathletic ways. Hey, I'm only being who I am. I'm not gonna pretend to try and impress Craig, okay? If he doesn't like me for my laziness, then he doesn't deserve me. So it'll be alright, we'll ease you into it. We head into the gym and I'm immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Oh. He high fives and finger guns all the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. Mm -hmm. Come on bud, let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be. Walking. 
So I know we're on treadmills. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Very good. What's all this other stuff? Craig laughs. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I watch as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle I didn't know existed on a machine and think and I think was once used to process grain into flour. <laughs> hey, bookworm. What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? <laughs> It's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I think he's doing all of these. <laughs> exactly, Talos. Wait, what? I have those too? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I like all of them. Um, <laughs> he He's trying to make his thighs so strong he could crush people's skulls with them. Bro. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. <laughs> Craig just told me he can crush me with his thighs. <laughs> is turning up the speed. I better do the same. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> how uh how long have you been doing the buff thing? A couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh. Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, there's still something in my eye. It's tears. Uh, hmm. uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I love learning. I try to live my life as close to a Jimmy Buffett song as possible. I check out my hot bot. I mean, we did pick the buff body. However, we're not- <laughs> our dialogue doesn't really go with the body we picked. Hey, but you can be- you can be naturally swole. You could be naturally skinny because you have like high metabolism. Can you be like naturally swole? Because we actually picked the swole dude. That is exactly where we could go to do some learning happy. Hey, what's up, Wednesday? <laughs> hi, Peachy. Hi, Chad. Hi, Craig. <laughs> Naturally swole around the gut region. Oh my god. Hey, Jay. Oh my god. Yes. I work so hard to sculpt with coffee and naps. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I spend most of my time in front of the mirror admiring my Adonis-like figure that I've worked so hard to sculpt. <laughs> By that I mean lazy horizontal and watch bad television. Oh. oh, lay horizontal, not lazy. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. I, that's how I feel when I exercise. Hey, remember when I, when my fish died in college? Uh, no, I don't like this story. 
<laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. And we were at that party and you vowed to make me feel better? You tell me you tell me to create a distraction and so of course I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I uh, try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. Bro. And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me and post keg stand. You run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground. <laughs> and you're yelling at me that we have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Talus is still on, I lay horizontally. <laughs> Talus got stuck. So we're running out of a frat party with a fish and trying to give it mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. And we get, we get him home. Fishes breathe water! And we get him home and get him into a bowl of water, but the prognosis was grim. Sure, that's what you say, Talos. So it's okay. It's okay. And the next day, he's alive and well. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never... Will. I shoot off the edge of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. I'm fantastic. I manage to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. That is an extra level of drunk to give a fish CPR, yes. Yes. We're soft walls are soft and bouncy. Oh man. Uh, you don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, here. I brought you this. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must be apparent distaste. Mm. Uh, it's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. He wants me to drink it. Oh boy, here goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Hey. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Hey. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. Good one. Well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this everything. I'll see you around. Does Craig want to help us put ice on everything? Tastes like green. No, <laughs> not balls! Walls! Oh my god. I did not say soft balls are soft and bouncy. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me. Literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. Get your swole dad bod on! Oh my god. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. Oh man. I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully no one will notice. I check my watch and am relieved to see that I am only two minutes late. Wait. Was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavy, lined eyes. <sighs> Come on, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? 
Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy. Are you gonna help me or not? This is the kid he chose to go up to? Ugh, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. I get back to where that low-rent Gerard Way is standing, full ready to give him a piece of my mind, when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. I am in front- I'm just- there's no good place for my camera in this game. Lucien, don't you have a third period to get to? Ugh, fine, Mr. Oh. Vega. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not oh. cool. You must be Rebel. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Hmm. Mr. Vega leads me in and I take a seat in one of the comically small student desks in the back. I might get stuck hmm. in this. Alright, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator and J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Hmm. Yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Ah. The whole class erupts in laughter. Um. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Hmm. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and make a break for the Whoa. door. Remember to do, to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Hmm? Or not, I guess. Mr. Vega turns to me in size. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? <sighs> Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Hmm. Look at a snazzy suit, though. Bye, Max. Take care. Thank you. Parents surprising you during a daddy stream. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> we do appreciate the bow tie. And the mustard suit. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Mr. Vega, uh, please call me Hugo. I don't know. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but I'm... But as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? <sighs> Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk this up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hasn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Uh... I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? We just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Mm -hmm. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you as a, a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this mm -hmm. road, I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Hey. Anytime. On my way out, I stop, thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo? Uh. Yes? They ever catch that rye? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm witty. I leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home, and maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Ah. I pull up to the carpool, and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? It was a very productive meeting. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Let's go out. Let's make an, an attempt to be social together. Let's go to the mall. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? 
I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. Oh. Yeah, a thing. Dinner. <laughs> in an attempt to meet hot dads, of course. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay. But also, sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective. Because, you know, maybe the parents also have dealt with similar situations. Mm. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you! Oh god. Have you been reading my tweets? <laughs> oh god, that's a thing now. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. You have a Twitter? <laughs> what? Never mind. Oh god. <laughs> Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Huh. Oh, I'm fine. Pop, senioritis, and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. Huh? It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to a stoplight and I eye Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Ugh. Ugh, uh huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Hmm. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Ah. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Who you texted? Huh. Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Hmm. Yep. Do you like Noah? <laughs> what? No. Dad. Ugh. Can't believe you Ugh. would. Dad. I mean, geez. Why would you... She's getting very defensive about asking her if she likes Noah. Ugh. Gross. Sorry. Sorry. Just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Jeez. This is going well. Oh, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. Whew. Oh, man. See, I, di I didn't grow up with texting and social media and stuff, so I never experienced the, like, parents wondering- Well, I, I, I had my computer, but not like, you know, I was in my room doing that, or at college. It wasn't like I was sitting in the living room texting and my mom's like, Who you texting? Gotta see your phone. <laughs> I'm with Amanda. Stupid Noah. Did your parents never go, what are you writing? Oh, they found my teenage fanfiction and gave me the talk. Yup. Yup. Amanda and Noah sitting in a tree. Yes, yes, they found it. <laughs> I got that talk in seventh grade. I don't remember. Well, I was I was a teenager. I would have been fifteen ish, somewhere around there. I'm not talking about the talk. I'm talking about the. We found you reading dirty fanfiction talk. I think that was around 15. Probably. 15, 16, so somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. Sorry I had to go through that. <laughs> I would have died. It was basically just, you're too young for that. And I was like, yeah, okay. And proceeded to not stop, of course, because teenagers. <laughs> you 
It was somewhere around... No, probably early high school. Very early high school, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. It's hard, it's hard. it all blends. Oh, I was writing it too, Faeus. I was reading it and writing it. I don't know which one they found. I don't know if they knew I wrote it. But they found out somehow. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Poppy says I haven't gotten the fanfic talk yet, but there's still time. <laughs> What's your parents call? You wrote that? <laughs> sales, that's exactly what it is. You listen to the speech and then you proceed to get better at hiding things. That's exactly what happens. Yes. I'm not proud of it. I love my parents. I love my parents. They were phenomenal parents. But yes, then you just get better at hiding it. <laughs> like, damn, I gotta have to be more careful. Oh, man. <laughs> the talk. And that's how Peachy learned to clear browser history. <laughs> we'll see. I didn't- that was- I didn't have, like, my own personal computer until I went to college. My parents bought me my own computer because I was going to be away at college. Um, so my dad and I and my sister all shared one PC in the house and, and one internet, one AOL subscription. So all of that was shared. Um, and since I wanted to read a lot more than I had time to, uh, opportunity to sit on the PC and read it there, um, I printed it out as well. So, I had printouts, and I had, like, I don't know if there was, like, browser history or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I, I, I am old enough that I, I printed stuff out to then uh, take to my, you know, room and read privately. Rather than sitting on the PC. Oh, Rebel! Oh, man. Yeah, I printed all mine, too, and, like, kept it in a binder. Oh, my God. It's evidence! There was physical evidence! <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. AOL. All through my, my teen years until I went to college. We connected through AOL dial-up. Yup. There was a honk today, Sales. We we played uh, we played the goose game already. We're gonna switch over pretty soon to uh, Realm Royale to finish off the stream. Just to remind everyone, today is Mod Appreciation Day. All tips and bits that come in today will be split among the mod team to thank them for everything that they do for this channel, um, both during streams, uh, 24-7, looking over the, uh, watching over the Discord, uh, chant, the Discord server, um, keeping that safe and troll-free and drama-free, um, and helping me behind the scenes with a myriad of things. Um, they, uh, dedicate, they donate their time and, and they, uh, dedicate themselves to this channel to make sure that this channel and this community keeps running smoothly and they, they help me so much. This community would not be what it is um without them so we are uh celebrating them today and uh they picked all the games today as well <laughs> yes yes all right <laughs> the dying robot when you connect to the internet oh lord <clears throat> we arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Language, Missy. Mm. Heck yeah. Better. Mm. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menu. Nobody looks happy to be here. <laughs> what are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? <laughs> I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand- nachos for dinner? She takes my hand with a grin. Oh. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very enthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. I love bad nachos. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. That is not a good dinner unless there's like meat sauce on there. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? <laughs> uh, which meme? All memes? Ugh. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Aww. Dad, it's complicated. <laughs> See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done the joke to death. Ugh. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and isn't funny. Oh god, that was the best explanation of memes I've ever heard! Oh shit, what up? Aww. Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? I almost unhinged my jaw. <laughs> my new friend, courtesy of Sharkles. Sharkles! Thank you so much for your donation to the mod team. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sharkles. All bits and tips today are going to be split amongst the mod team. Sharkles, thank you. Thank you so much. That's going to go a long way to uh, paying them back for everything that they've done for this community. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's get those Sharkles emotes in the chat. Sharkles! <laughs> I freaking love that shark, man. It's good. It's so good. Yes, Sharkles! Thank you, Sharkles. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you for supporting the moderators. It's a good shark. It is a good shark. Wanna go to that goth store? Mm. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment? I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? Dude, you gotta be more specific. <laughs> the one you threw up in that one time? Oh, that one! Hey! <laughs> yeah, basically, that that's Hot Topic. It's Hot Topic. <laughs> hey, Hot Topic's like half geek stuff now. Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. Hey. There it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. Oh, God. I'm so proud. I got this necklace at Hot Topic. No, it's not. Hot Topic is half anime and video games now. Speech. Amanda. Speech, speech, speech! Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda and Royal Heart had to do 
had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> I went to Hot Topic a couple months ago to exchange my Kyrie hoodie. And then I I then there was jewelry, so I bought a bunch of Kingdom Hearts and Sailor Moon jewelry. <clears throat> Amanda is moved. She begins clapping, slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Hey. Oh hey, chain wallets! <laughs> While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in a dead goth and beyond. Aw, oh, clearance bin. There's a big cardboard box of marked down items. I'm pretty sure $4 for purple eyeliner is a good deal, I think. I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yes, I would. <laughs> look, this is very important to me. I over- oh, it's a vampire. There's a vampire. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and shows it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Oh, my. Listen, when I bought this online- when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. <laughs> Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? This dude's eyes are pink. This is my guy. This is my guy. I'm telling you right here. He's too anime. He's got pink eyes, long hair. He's dressed like a vampire and he works at Hot Topic. This is my daddy. I'm telling you right now. Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. He's the manager of Hot Topic. I'm in love. Wait, is this the guy? No, this is the cash. Isn't this the cashier? I don't know. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. Oh, that was the guy complaining. Okay, never mind. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. Amanda trots up to me with a t shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, no. Hey, Dadtron 5000! Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. I did say I would buy her one thing. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes hard and I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hand, she's, she's shopping at a Hot Topic. <laughs> she hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Hmm. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghosts done got control of the truck. I can't steer the on them here damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP beater to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die! Ah, almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying you're going to die. Hmm. That's because we're about to die. Ah. This is art. What is what is what is this little folder icon? Oh. It's just my options. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. Because that's what teens do. 
I stayed up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterwards, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Yay, good night's sleep. Minimize eating fried foods, candy, and 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 sweets. We should probably end here. Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You never even let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. Cereal for breakfast. Yes. We're gonna have to end it there, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yo, Carcalimo. I agree. Five more minutes. This is gold. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Allie wants to watch that show. It, it's taking too long! We didn't even get to a date! It's taking too long. Oh my god. I wouldn't mind you seeing you come back to this one on Saturdays. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure if you go out with Damien, you find out he writes fanfiction. Perfect. Perfect. Could be a peachy after dark game, yes. Yes. The dialogue and your reading of it is hilarious. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It, no, it's great. It's great. No, they, they do a very good job of developing a backstory, introducing us to all the daddies. Yes, yes. Yes, th this would be a fantastic Peachy After Dark, especially once we start getting into, like, the dating and stuff. So, we will come back to this game at some point. Indeed. Indeed. There's all the daddies! We've met all the daddies! Except, except this guy behind me here, the the creepy guy who was look who was giving us eyes in the cafe. He's the only one we saw him, but we haven't met him. This guy, he's the only one we haven't actually like talk, talked to. Well, we didn't talk to vampire guy. We but we like we oversaw him. I I do I do love the song though. Could jam to this. It's the Dad Rector's Cut, by the way. There's comics for this, too? Is, is there a, like, is there a canon daddy? <laughs> Eat a lot of broccoli. Dad tip number 21. Fibbage and trivia murder party. First is the worst, second is best, third is the one with the hairiest chest. What did that say? Anyone who tells you that a drink isn't manly has never known heartache. I'm I'm living for these dad these uh dad tips. What you do when you don't have to will determine where you'll be when you can't help it. <laughs> this is the best stream ever. Next to any Soriku stream is true. It's the dadliest dad tip. Don't smoke! Best dad tip, number 77. Don't smoke. Pay your bills early. There's like a hundred dad tips. Try not to make assumptions about people. I mean, these are good tips. These are good tips. Guess what I'm queuing up next, Guild Wars 2 Tuesday? Oh my god. Everyone needs to know how to use power tools. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Hi, Cecilius! <laughs> there are 92 dad tips. Don't trust gas station egg sandwiches. Oh, no. 
then you'll stop at the next gas station and use the facilities. Use your hips when throwing. Make sure to sweep under your tent so you don't sleep on rocks. That, that's true. That's true. I'm going to go camping. Yes. Yes. There's mini games. Oh, there's mini games. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Not just when throwing. No. No. The using of hips is not exclusive to throwing. 